They're good people and sweet boys. It's a sad day here. After seeing police tape replace the usual peace and quiet of her Riverside neighborhood, yeah, I was, I was sobbing. Michelle Prestigard has cried so hard she doesn't have any tears left. I've seen a lot of bad things in this neighborhood, but to see a child on the ground like that, it, it, it's just horrible. Horrible. Prestigard watched as paramedics tried to revive Ninjo Zhang after he was accidentally shot by his big brother. They picked him up off the ground and he was just completely limp. I knew it was bad. But the little boy died in the ambulance before he could make it to the hospital. Disbelief and, and, and anger and I don't want to blame anybody, just that this child should be alive and playing with his brothers. Family members aren't sure how Zhang's older brother found the handgun his father kept hidden in a closet. But police say he was playing with it in a bedroom when it accidentally went off. Firearms have to be kept in a secured manner. And when they don't, uh, fortunately tragedy often is the result. And that appears to be the case today. Neighbors say they often see the family with four young boys under five playing outside in the backyard. Sometimes I used to see a fake uh, gun, guns, with the kids always playing. But I never realized that they have a real gun in the house. But unfortunately, the pain they're all feeling is all too real as well. I just hope people know that when you have a gun, you can't have a loaded gun around babies. This is preventable. This, this should not have happened.